Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for June 5th. Today's devotion is titled Waiting in Hope. And the Bible reading is from Romans chapter 12, verses 9 to 13. Good morning, Remy. <laughs> Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. All right, I'm going to butcher this name. Roger Leo served as our waiter during our week-long vacation. In one conversation, he credited Jesus for blessing him with Kaylee, a compassionate wife with strong faith. After they had their first baby, God gave them the opportunity to help care for their niece who had Down syndrome. Soon after, Rajaleo, uh, Rajaleo's mother-in-law needed live-in care. Rajaleo works with joy, often taking on double shifts to ensure his wife can stay home to care for the people God entrusted to them. When I shared how the couple inspired me to love better because of the way they opened their hearts and home to serve their family members, he said, it is my pleasure to serve them and you. Raja Leo's life affirms the power of living with generosity and trusting God to provide as we serve one another selflessly. The Apostle Paul urged God's people to be devoted to one another in love, joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. As we share with the Lord's people who are in need and practice hospitality. Our life can change in an instant, leaving us or those we love in circumstances that feel impossible to bear. But when we're willing to share all God has given us while we wait on him, we can cling to his enduring love together. How can you prayerfully and physically support someone in need today? How has God used someone to offer you tangible support while you waited for him? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion and I hope you all have a wonderful day.